wins, Kat. Competition in a whole. The first few weeks, uh, Stacey had put a lot of uh, groundwork and effort into promoting the campaign. I just on Facebook, I took the oath. I just put it as my status. I put it as the club's Facebook status, and just rolled on from there. Everybody jumped on board. Everybody got involved. People were door knocking till 12 at night, and down at McDonald's, and getting anyone they could to get on board. We got up in the leaderboard in the first week, I think, and then we just started climbing from there. It was wonderful. Just wonderful news, but. We were quietly confident because of the people, Stacey and Gerald principally. The reason I think we won was because of the connections that all of the people within the club have with the wider community. It's only a small town and I, I guess from the amount of oaths that you saw we got, it was enormous and we only got it in the last day and it just shows the support that we have here and it's a great community, they all support each other and it's, it's good to be in. It's just a buzz, it's just a, it's a great feeling that everyone's sharing. Do you know what it's like? It's like a reward for all our hard work. Mate, the Blood Oath campaign has been one of the probably greatest initiatives I've seen. Like the prize money's a bonus, but just the buzz around the club uh, to be recognised as sending this message out there, it's, yeah, it's great to be a part of it. I've been here for probably 50 years. It's been a great tradition. My wife's done it, I've done it. You know, guys have been here and they've had, you know, one too many and we always run them home. I'm a North Melbourne supporter and when Brad Scott come on and, you know, sort of advertising the Blood Oath thing, I thought, gee, what, what a good idea. I'm glad they all got on board this and, and spread the word. It's a, good, it's a good cause. Just to get that message out that, you know, it's not worth it, get a cab or have a designated driver, it's, yeah, the message is fantastic and it was great to see the footy club get behind it and get on board. I think uh, living along the Warburton Highway, there's been uh, quite a few road accidents and tragedies that have affected the local community. So I think it's a really strong and important message to uh, to drive to the locals, and especially within our own sporting club. So it's a, it's a very strong message that we need to be pushing. What I find particularly clever about this campaign, and I really think this is clever, is that it's not about the individual saying I will look after myself it's like I will look after my mates and I think that that is what's really gotten to the hearts of these young people in our club because their mates mean everything to them. We, we love each other so we want to look after each other so that's why it's important. There's ten of them they do a lot of work. You know that don't you?